TSF Entertainment. Yo, 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 and welcome back to TSF Entertainment. This time we are bringing you Power Book Season 4, Episode 3, Exclusive Picks and Predictions. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Episode 3 synopsis says, Tariq and Brayden must find an end with a vicious new connect. Monet realizes her kids might not be being honest with her. Detective Carter's task force digs deeper into Tariq's connection to a major player in Noma's camp. So here we have Obi in this scene. As we all know, Detective Carter arrested him on the last episode. So I'm pretty sure here that he is still at the precinct and he's making a phone call. And I'm thinking he's making a phone call to none other than Davis as we see Perla Tanaka shows up and she's having a conversation with Detective Carter. So I'm pretty sure that he called Davis since Davis can't practice law. He sent Tanaka down to get Obi out of jail or just help him out along with the questioning as Detective Carter arrested him. Here we have Kane, Noma, and Obi. Now the question is, does Noma know about Obi's arrest? I'm leaning more towards that she doesn't. And here in this scene, she's questioning where Obi has been, as well as she's probably letting him know that Kane is about to move up more probably into his slot. And Obi is not going to be happy with that at all. Here we have Monet and Diana. As we saw from the previews, Monet wants to know what happened. We saw in the synopsis, she says that she doesn't believe her children. So I'm thinking here, she's trying to have more of a heart to heart with Diana, as well as fish information as to who actually took a shot at her. Here we have Noma, Kane, and Effie. Thinking here, this is the after effect from their meet with the Russian, and Kane is letting Noma that let Noma know that. The Russian only wants to do business if it's only meeting with Effie. I'm pretty sure Noma's going to have a problem with that, but that's the way it's going to go down. So I'm taking from this scene here. This is where Kane is letting Noma know that the Russian only wants to deal directly with Effie. And in that same meetup, we see her daughter Anya pop up. And I'm sure here Anya is probably going to over possibly overhear something in the discussions with Kane and Effie um, that she doesn't like. This also could be before they have a discussion and Effie and Kane roll up and hear a discussion between Anya and Noma. And I'm sure judging by this scene, it doesn't end very well as Kane is rubbing his head. Here we have Monet and Janet. This scene here, we also saw in the trailer where she tells Janet that she doesn't believe her kids. So here I'm thinking she's going to start having, of course, more flashbacks that we've seen Monet have flashbacks. And she's she's going to just start kind of thinking different things and trying to put pieces of the puzzle together as to why she doesn't believe her children while they're here at Monet's bar. Here we have Monet down at dinner in her house, and I'm pretty sure this is the scene here where she tries to get more information as to who shot her. And this scene is before she goes to Janet and tells her that she does not believe her kids. I'm sure here between Drew and Diana, they're going to concoct some story um, as far as her being shot at. Here we have Tariq and Brayden, and it looks like they're here at a loading dock. We also saw this scene as well in the trailer where they meet up with somebody as Brayden has a briefcase in his hand that is full of money. We're not sure who they meet up with, but I'm sure it has somewhat to deal with the new connect that they're getting this episode. Here we have Brayden and Pinky. If you remember Pinky, she was in the first, um, excuse me, yeah, she was in the first episode following um, Anya. So I'm pretty sure here that Tariq is paying Pinky for more information, probably to follow Anya more or maybe even to get some type of info on their new connect that they're getting this season. 
here we have Becca and we have Brayton here in Becca's dorm room. And from the looks of it, it looks like Becca is packing up. As we saw in the last episode, Brayden's father, they were packing up the house. They were getting ready to leave as everything is went down with Kane uh, beating up Brayden's brother and Becca getting kidnapped, um, as well as the whole Ponzi scheme thing. So it looks like here this more than likely what's happened is Becca is packing up and she will be leaving Stansfield. Here we have Kamal Tate. Now we have not seen Kamal Tate in quite a while. As we all know, Kamal Tate is an officer. So in this scene here, it could be one of two things as we see him talking to Detective Carter and Detective Felicia Lewis. They could be questioning Kamal in reference to his brother as his brother Councilman Tate help Obi get those green cards. So I'm leaning more towards that's what they're doing here is questioning him about his brother and the whole green card thing. It also could be quite possibly that they're going to try to bring him on the task force to help bring down Obi, to help bring down Noma and Tariq as Kamal here has some knowledge uh, about Tariq. Here we have Davis, Braden, and Tariq. And they are here at none other than the Fight Club as this is the new connect that Davis is going to introduce them to. And we all saw in the trailer that Davis told them that they need to do whatever they have to do in order to impress the new connect. So here we have Rusandria L and we have young blues character who goes by the name of Stokely and they are a group um, on the Stansfield campus. We saw last episode L performing. So this time we will see all three performing in this episode. And we see L here with Braden talking and I'm pretty sure that's his new love interest. And this is, they're just, you know, just kicking actual factuals and discussing different things. It could be quite possibly that she is also discussing as to Brayden, you know, supplying her or moving some type of drug of some sort. As she said, when they first met, you know, I heard about you and Brayden said that, you know, I don't do that anymore. So that's it. Let us know down in the comments. Let us know your predictions and what you think from the scenes that you just saw for this episode.